I have to wear glasses because this is on my phone. And you know, all of you know this. Never, ever audition with your phone. Never, never, ever, 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 never, never. Nod. Tell me yes. You will never do this. <clears throat> we'll never do it. <laughs> never, never do this. All right, Jennifer, come on up. Everybody turn your things off. So I want you to see if you know what the relationship is and all that stuff going on as much as you can. These are not easy scenes, but they teach you action reaction. Ken and Eamon, turn off your computers. <clears throat> Good morning. Good morning. How do you feel? Great. I'm sure. <laughs> What do you want for breakfast? Whatever. Hmm. How about some scrambled eggs? Fine. Are you uh, going this morning? Have to. No. Do you want me to stay? It's up to you. I can't. Well, like I said, it's it's up to you. All right, everybody come back. Did you get a feel of what it was and who we were and what the relationship was? Mm -hmm. What was it, Antonia? Um, I thought you guys had like a one night stand. Oh. <laughs> Oops. No. Uh oh. I thought you were a mother and daughter and the daughter was visiting her mom and her mom was really trying to act like she wasn't putting a guilt trip on her, but she was. Mm -hmm. That was it. That was actually pretty close, yeah. <laughs> yeah, and specifically, she was going back to her husband that she'd left the night before. So we really actually thought of the whole scenario through. Antonia, lovers? Jesus <laughs> Christ. I'm a, I'm a God. <laughs> what, Nancy? No, I kind of had a similar reaction to it. And I just I just felt like black shirt was real passive aggressive and the white shirt was trying to be accommodating and enabling. Yeah, I was her mother. Okay, what did you give us the backstory on the commercial on what this was for? You know, eggs. No. What was this for? No. These come from Uta Hagen's oh. uh, open scenes. They force you as actors to make specific choices. What is your relationship? What just happened? Why are you saying what you're saying? You mu if you haven't done it, I'll put you back in your rooms to do it. No. It's very important. It makes you work on what is your intention. My intention was exactly what Barbara said. I didn't want to make my daughter feel guilty about making the choice that she was making to go back to her husband. I was trying to encourage as much as I could without, and I did want her to be around me more. So there was a couple of things that were going on. Does that make sense to you guys? Mm -hmm. Because what actors forget is relationship. And in commercials, you need that relationship. You have to be thinking about, where's the camera catching me in this commercial? What am I doing? What am I feeling? Who am I talking to and why am I saying this? And it's always because I love this product. This is... You're going to love this product, you know. Does that make sense to everybody now? All right, so yeah. let's, see. and Jennifer, good work. Jennifer was really easy to work with, I must Thank say. You, you as well. You as well. well <laughs> hopefully, me as well. <laughs> Otherwise, you're in trouble, all of you. <laughs> all right, who's next? Who am I missing? All right, Alicia's going. Who are you with, Alicia? Amen. Amen. And, and then Barbara will go. Hey, and Tony, hide non-video participants so just Eamon and I are on the screen for the recording. What? Go up to the top and hide non-video participants so just Eamon and I are on the screen. 
You are. It just says gallery view. Well, no, no, because you took me off as co-host, and it's everybody's names and Eamon and I. <laughs> no, it says gallery view. Okay. If I press this, it says show non-video participants. Oh, okay. You, you don't want that. Okay. All right. Here we go. Are you still recording? Yep, I am. All right. Here we go. Good morning. Good morning. How do you feel? Great. I'm sure. What do you want for breakfast? Whatever. How about some scrambled eggs? Fine. Are you going this morning? Have to. Oh. Do you want me to stay? It's up to you. Can't. Like I said, it's up to you. Interesting. All right, come back. This was very interesting. I got two things going on at once. Did the rest of you? I felt at first that it was a one-nighter. And that he was acting like a real jerk, not wanting to be with her. Mm -hmm. But then I got that he was her husband and um, he had to go do something he didn't want to do. And he was pissed at her as well. What, what did anybody else get? I got that you were, uh, that Eamon, you were her husband. And she, you, you made love last night for the first time in a long time. <laughs> I love how everyone projects their own things onto the <laughs> <laughs> But here's the reality. I'm Everybody so does. Yeah, it does. <laughs> That's why people walk out of a play and or a movie and go, but this is what I saw. Right. That's why people, it, it is. <laughs> no, Eamon and I decided to make definite choices and we did it a bunch of different ways. But we decided that however we did it, we were going to make choices. Well, what were your choice? Our, our choice was that we were going to be a bit wistful about not being able to to like like what we were doing this morning. But what were you, husband and wife? Yeah, I think so. I didn't get that. I, I didn't feel that uh, we were husband and wife. We were acquainted in some way. Yeah, but definitely. And Definitely not a not not a one night stand though, but definitely we knew each other. Yeah. Well, just, the job I was on the I was on the job that really I'm, I was the kind who was married to his work. Mm -hmm. Okay, and, here's what's missing: the relationship. Are you roommates? The way that you acted, Eamon, was like, "Ooh, I hated last night." Uh, like, oh yeah, it was good for you, but it wasn't good for me. You understand? Yeah. Do it again and just be roommates if that's what you chose. Okay. Okay. Here we go, everybody. Turn off your camera. Ready? Good morning. Okay. Hey, don't let the breath out. Don't let the breath out and be more neutral at the beginning, Eamon. Here we go. You're, because you're you're acting like uh, good morning. No, you st remember all characters need to be liked, so it's neutral until the work part comes up and all that. Trust me. Here we go. Good morning. Good morning. How do you feel? Great. I'm sure. What do you want for breakfast? Whatever. How about some scrambled eggs? Fine. Are you going this morning? Have to. Oh. You want me to stay? It's up to you. Can't. Like I said, it's up to you. Hmm. I have 
have just one question. Why do you ask her, do you want me to stay, Eamon? I, I, wanted, I wanted to know what she feels and how, how good this thing is between us. So, I can so, speak so, out you're, there. so you're not roommates, you were lovers. That's that's my impression. I mean, we're not really roommates. I, I but I, but we do know each other pretty well. You guys. All right, I'm gonna let you guys do it one more time. No, Tony, Tony, you're the one who said we were roommates. I don't think we were roommates. I think we were, you know, together. Yeah, but Eamon said he didn't feel that way. Oh, okay. So that's what got me confused. Okay. So, again, if you are lovers, <laughs> I need to see that. And I need to see why Eamon would say, do you want me to stay? Are there things you need to do? Do you see how you have to make the choices in your head? Are there things that you think you need to do around the house? Was there a project she asked you to do? Do you understand? These, these you have to, on every line, make a specific choice. Mm -hmm. All right, here we go. I'll give you one more chance here. Wait a minute. Let me, okay, go ahead. Good morning. Good morning. How do you feel? Great. I'm sure. What do you want for breakfast? Whatever. How about some scrambled eggs? Fine. Are you going this morning? Have to. Oh. Do you want me to stay? It's up to you. Can't. Like I said, it's up to you. Oh, that was so much nicer, you guys. Did did you feel did you feel how much better that was? <laughs> yeah, yeah, because yeah, like Eamon is not jiggling the roof. <laughs> not what? Eamon is not jiggling the roof. <laughs> what? You know, you know, you, you know. You said, does he have projects around the house? I said, Eamon is not jiggling the roof. Okay, got it. Yeah. Okay, everybody <laughs> no. come back. Yeah. Did, did you all see? Everybody come back. Did you all see a relationship here now? It was much better. Yeah. All right, who's next? Okay, Barbara. And Marco. Marco. I have to do this with my phone, too, because and I can't see. I know. Chris, turn off your, uh, your camera, sweetie. Okay. Good morning. Good morning. How do you feel? Great. I'm sure. <laughs> what do you want for breakfast? Whatever. How about some scrambled eggs? Fine. Uh, um... Are you going this morning? Have to. Oh. Do you want me to stay? It's up to you. Can't. Like I said, it's up to you. Hmm. Interesting. You know, everybody come back. This, this one was interesting. Marco wasn't quite as specific as Barbara. All right, so let's get some what people thought. I thought you guys maybe were like married and he was going on a long trip. And you didn't want him to go, Barbara. That's maybe not correct. <laughs> I felt that that you were, um, he was a guest and that he needed to go somewhere that might have been dangerous overseas or something that you were a little worried about him. All right, everybody else, Nancy, what'd you think? 
Well, it kind of reminded me of the way I played it with um, Chris and um, I felt Barbara was really upbeat and, you know, uh, I, I didn't know whether they were husband and wife. I just felt that they were in some sort of love relationship and that he was kind of grumpy and she was really trying to accommodate him and, and, and stay upbeat, even though he was going to take off and be kind of a jerk about it. <laughs> What do you think, Antonia? I thought it was like a love scenario, but I've thought like every single one was. <laughs> what do you think, Chris? I thought it was, uh, you know, a husband and the, the wife type scenario, something like that. But what, okay, so what was it, you guys? I was told he's my boss and I've been totally in love with him, but we had a one night stand. He's married. He's not into me. I am so in love with him. I, but I'm scared. I mean, I love I, that. I love that. What a fabulous way to go. And I'm the know? asshole. Yeah. I'm the asshole who, you know, knows that she's in love with me and it's like, Okay, you should be happy now. I slept with you last night. So I think that Nancy actually got it. So yeah, it's like, it's like I did her a favor by sleeping with her last night. So that's all you get. So. Well, Marco, can I just make one suggestion? Don't judge your character. Nobody thinks they're an asshole. No one. Even the biggest villain in the world thinks that what they're doing is right. So I want you guys to do it again, and I want you to feel just a little bit of something for her for one moment. Okay. Like maybe when you say, I bet, you know, big smile. And Barbara, when you say, are you going there? I want you to think of his wife, that he's going back home to his wife. And for one moment, Marco, to make this interesting, when you say, do you want me to stay? I want that to be for one moment sweet. Okay. Okay. Don't play him an ass because villains don't play villains. Okay. All right, here we go. Louisa, turn off your camera. <clears throat> Good morning. Good morning. How do you feel? Great. I'm sore. <laughs> what do you want for breakfast? Whatever. Would you like some scrambled eggs? Fine. Uh, are you going this morning? Have to. Oh. Do you want me to stay? Mm, it's up to you. Can't. Like I said, it, it's up to you. Oh, see, that was so much better. Marcos, you took my direction beautifully. Do you know what I mean? Because you were still cold at the end, but there was there was a, a, a nice feeling about you. You never want to choose something where you look bad, bad, bad. Does that make sense? The, the character. Yes was really nice. That was great, you guys. I loved it. Good work. Next two. Chris? Nancy and Chris, shall we? Uh, sure. Uh, you want me to be, be the black shirt person? Yes. Oh, okay. All right. Uh, good morning. Good morning. How do, you, how do you feel? Great. I'm sure. What do you want for breakfast? Whatever. How about some scrambled eggs? Fine. Are you going this morning? Have to. Oh. Do you want me to stay? Oh, it's it's up to you. Can't. Oh. Well, well, like I said, it's up to you. Interesting. Everybody come back. An interesting one. I got I thought I got Nancy pretty clear. I wasn't sure about Chris. So what's the scenario? Well, what did you guys see? Chris is really preoccupied with something. He wants to get out of there. 
and yeah. he's, take, he's taking a little bit of notice that she wants him to stay. He's a bit surprised almost. But otherwise, he's really intent on getting out of there. Yeah. <laughs> Anybody else see anything? What was their relationship? Well, I thought it was uh, some sort of a love relationship. As I said before, when we, I was talking about this set, and he, I saw that this guy is sort of passive aggressive, but she's, she's into him and she wanted him, was trying to be accommodating and get him to stay. And he's being kind of standoffish and, and she's, you know, kind of crestfallen that he's leaving, but she's trying to put the best face on it. Like, oh, okay, it's, you know, it's up to you. Yeah, I got that, Nancy, but 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 the word passive aggressive takes it into a psychologist view of it. It doesn't you're you're kind of on the outside watching yourself, and that's what I felt. So okay. You it was really just... need, I want to see you do it again. And I need to see, do you really care for this guy? Well, yeah, I do. But the thing is what made me feel like he's he's a passive aggressive Don't person. Don't worry about him. No, no. Here's okay. the whole deal. Don't worry about him. Do you really like him? Yes. Perfect. All you have to worry about is yourself in acting, in commercials, in anything. Chris, what's your feeling about her? Uh, she's just being uh, really nice to me, and I'm just not able to take it right now because I'm kind of distracted and upset about something. Uh, but uh, What are you distracted and upset about? Chris, because I have to, I have to just get somewhere, and I'm just, but I'm not sure if I should really go. But I'm thinking most likely I should get out of here ASAP. So I'm not able to appreciate her kindness at the current time. So I'm where being kind going? of rude. Chris, where are you going? I have to go to the airport, run to the airport, and. You know what? Do you want to hear something very weird? I got that. I oh. got that. Even as you were talking, there's got to be a little bit more stress in your voice because airport is big you got a business i got you had a business meeting airport you wanted to stay with her you couldn't excellent see if you guys see it smell it <clears throat> taste it hear it feel it know it we'll do we'll see it so let's try it again kids everybody turn off your camera Make those choices. Those are the kind of choices you have to make on commercials. And action. Good morning. Good morning. How do you feel? Great. I'm sure. What do you want for breakfast? Whatever. How about some scrambled eggs? Fine. Are you going this morning? Have to. Oh. Do you want me to stay? It's up to you. Can't. Well, like I said, it's up to you. All right, let's do it again. And Chris, you're really rushing it. Oh, sorry. Don't don't rush it. I mean, do you like her a little bit? Uh, well, I'm. I thought you meant the whole airport thing. They're busy, and I have to rush things more. But you do, but do you like do. her? You don't have to Actually, rush until you ask her. Much. Place. I'm getting over her. You're getting over her. <laughs> All right. Yeah. So, so maybe you the rush part is have to. Do you understand? Oh, right. Okay. Let's try it one more time, Nancy. You did good. Good morning. Good morning. How do you feel? Great. I'm sure. What do you want for breakfast? Whatever. How about some scrambled eggs? Fine. Are you going this morning? Have to. Oh. Do you want me to stay? Oh, it, it, it's up to you. Can't. Like I said, it's it's up to you. Okay. You're a real cold dude, Chris. Living this nice, <laughs> leaving this nice woman. You didn't want to be there at all this time. Yeah, you bastard. You bastard. <laughs> Bastard, a mean bastard. <laughs> yeah, bastard. Yeah. There was no emotion. I want out of here. Whatever. Get good. All right. Let's bring, up, let's bring up Antonia. 
Antonio, who are you doing this with, honey? Patton. All right, here we go. Oh. Ah, good morning. Good morning. So, how do you feel? Great. I'm sure. Um, what do you want for breakfast? Oh, whatever. How about some scrambled eggs? Fine. Are you going this morning? Uh, have to. Oh. Do you um? Do you want me to stay? It's up to you. Can. Like I said, up to you. Okay. Um, the reason I'm having you do this over again, it was really good, is you kept smacking your lips. Ken, which is something I don't want you to do. Okay. But everybody okay. come back real quick before they do it over again and let's see if you got what, what the relationship was. <sighs> I got a very loving couple and that he really didn't want to go. So, right. yeah, he really wanted to stay, but he knew that yeah. he could, but she... Not very enthused. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, she wasn't that into whatever was going on. Seemed like she wanted to cry, but she was just uh, held it back. I don't know. Oh, you thought she wanted to cry. Huh. She had this sad look on her face and she was kind of holding back something. I don't know. Do you see how different? Huh, look at all, everybody has a different thing. I got that they, they were very new lovers and uh -huh. that he didn't really want to leave, mm -hmm. but that he wasn't committed to him like he was starting to commit to her. So what was it really, you two? Um, it was kind of like, I guess, like new lovers, but also kind of like, you know, a game of like, who can care less, you know, that was... Yeah, so um, I'm more like a, a rabbit in a bamboo forest, yeah. you know. The rabbit eats shoots and leaves. So I only stay if I have to, like if I, so I need to, so I was like tapping the water to see if she likes me. And if she likes me, then I can consider if I want to stay or not. Otherwise, I'm just going to make excuses and leave. Yeah, that's what Chris, who said that? Chris or Eamon said that, I think. Yeah. All right. Well, that's a great choice. Let's see you do it now. Ken, don't smack your lips. Okay. <laughs> turn off your mics. Uh, turn off your camera, Chris and Alicia. Good morning. Ah! What did you just do? Good morning. You smacked your lips and then said good morning. Oh, Stop. did I? Yeah. Stop uh, smacking. I can't see myself for some reason, and yeah. I don't see her. I oh. want you to see yourself. Oh, okay. Her. Don't smack oh. your lips. Okay. Action. Good morning. Good morning. How do you feel? Great. I'm sure. What do you want for breakfast? Whatever. How about some scrambled eggs? Fine. Are you going this morning? Have to. Oh. Um, do you... Want me to stay? It's up to you. Can. Like I said, up to you. Hmm. Okay, so 
Everybody come back. We're going to do another commercial now. But Ken, what do I say for all of you? Onomatopoeias are, hmm, don't let out your breath. I would rather you say a word on your breath. So you guys, when you do, that's, you're letting out all your energy. But if you say, have to, uh -huh. on that breath, do you understand? Otherwise, yeah. they become, hmm, yeah, onomatopoeias. They, they're just sound effects. And trust me, I'm, I'm the worst at them. <laughs> I only tell you about them because I'm the worst. So let